dear students and uh, parents i am very happy to meet you once again through this youtube channel our g square maths i once again welcome you slight deviating from our topics today i would like to take a common topic which is very much useful for the children today's topic my topic is good habit of successful student Dear children, very carefully it is selected this topics. It is not for a good habit of a student. It is a good habit of a successful student. I would consider this successful students as a student who is getting 100 marks in mathematics, 100 marks in physics, 100 marks in chemistry, economics and everything. No, that is not what we are expecting for. Actually, our main aim of education is something else. We have to make a good citizens. So to, wherever you are, wherever, whichever the country you belongs, you should be a good citizen of that particular country. And success, of course, scoring high marks, that is also counted as a successful student. But that is not the only thing. Success means overall developments. So my dear children, in my experience, when I started thinking of this topic, I collected this, my past memories. What are the common points what the parents are concerned about? The parents often used to come as a principal, as a teacher, as at various levels. They used to come and often you used to discuss the, about the, their words. They used to tell, sir, my son, my daughter, they are studying well. They are working very hard. Day and night they are preparing their lessons. But they are not able to come out with the flying colors. What we want actually from my child, the child is not bringing out. Though the child and we are putting our lot of effort also on the child to get the best result out of it. My dear children, this is the expectation of the parents. And they used to sometimes compare the children also. Sir, my daughter, my son, they are working like this. But see that boy, he is not studying at all, but he is scoring well. But that, that doesn't mean that I am kindly request. Whosoever is watching this, whichever is viewing this, I am not encouraging the parents to compare the children with other children. Please don't compare. Comparison will not give you any Profit comparison will not give you any outcomes. Each and every children, individual children of their own. So, my dear parents, don't compare the parents. Instead, you encourage them in different way. So, let us come. Why are you taking this topics? Good habit of a successful students. To be a successful student, what we have to do, apart from studies, apart from academic results. What are the things we have to take care of? Let me come. Let me get, uh, start with a simple thing. Each and every one of you, each and even including me, everyone very much interested in sports and games. People are interested. They are very happy to watch the um, uh, cricket matches. Wherever they are, they are going and watching. Once um, I went to Australia, there the Indian Australia was, uh, match was, cricket match was going on. Immediately, we all, the whole family of my daughter, my son in law, and everybody we went. So that shows the interest about a particular games. This players, whatever way the game is, not only the cricket I am talking about. Let it be a cricket, let it be a hockey, let it be a football, let it be a volleyball, let it be anything. If I am interested in a particular game, Wherever I am, I would like to see the matches. I want to see the players. And I want to see my country should be um, uh, successful in the particular game. These are the thing expectations from the individual. As a citizen of the particular country, it is a very common thing it is. I feel that I used my country should win in the particular game. These are the uh, um, uh, particular aim of the particular individuals. So my teacher, what I want to say that it is, 
yes we are interested to go we are going and watching this game but how the particular team they are working about suppose for example india and australia they are playing cricket match they know that well in advance you, they are going to australia and they are going to play the match they used to do three things main things what are the things for their success in the particular match three things they are, they used to do that same three things if you apply here in our life you will be a successful person what are they before coming to a particular t20 match or a one day match or a test series before the match during the match and after the match so these are the three things we they used to always concentrate and they used to always worry about so do you think that the players they are directly they are coming to the field and started playing no they used to sit all the entire team they used to sit in a particular room locked room and they used to discuss about the games my dear children this is the right time i am talking to you about this um, uh, topic i had selected this topic because everybody the whole world is in lockdown position you children are all sitting in the room you are sitting along with the parents you can watch this particular youtube channel because of that only i selected this what the parents role what the students role my dear children you watch in this uh, what are the things you have to do for a successful student not an ordinary student so this um, players they used to sit a month before or two months before when the match announced india and australia they were going to play they are going entire team is selected they are going in a particular room and before the match starts one month before or two months before they used to plan it out they used to plan these are the players if they are coming these are the players, our players should go and face them they used to study the each and every player they are going to play in the opponent team and they used to study the record of the opponent team they used to see if that particular person is coming i have to go or this person should go so that he can be a face if fast bowler is doing if a slow faces they are doing it is and spin if they are doing how to face the balls each and every ball sachin tendulkar it is hitting sixer what he is sixing say hitting sixer that shows very clearly his plan when he is bowling like this you should watch the hand how it is the ball is release he is releasing the ball accordingly he used to turn the bat it goes to six or fours or whatever it may be so my dear children so before the game start itself they used to plan what we were going to do that second thing is during the play i'm um the as the time is very short i'm uh, cut shorting this so before the game they are doing this during the game what are the planning they did in the closed room they are going to execute during the play during the play when that particular person is coming to play they will select this another one as per plan as per the plan they are executing their plan so during the game they are executing it the third one is very 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 important to be a successful person after the game do you think that once the game is over they are going to play they are going to sleep in the room or in the hotel no they used to sit again because that is not the last game the people they are going to play next time also they got to play so they have to evaluate after the game is over they used to evaluate and after evaluations they used to find out the remedy for this so my dear children in each and everything the planning that depends on this before during and after so let us come i have some few points for you people how to become a successful student my dear children the first one we are coming across is before 
before the game before the game i have to plan it out before you want to become a successful person successful student successful person in the academic examinations you have to fix yourself a goal a clear cut specific goal always help you to become a successful student what is this goal we used to call it as a, you should have a smart goal smart goal of course smart but in my aim is not is smart goal is not enough the goal should be smarter so what is that i am planning to take another um, uh, topic on this uh, which we will be releasing in the next channel what is a goal setting how to set the goal so please watch that also now come to this so you have to plan it out you have to fix a goal for your life i want to become like this my dear children whenever i was uh, academic um, uh, um, in charge of a particular school as a principal or coordinator or chief education officer i used to do like this in the school assembly i used to ask the children to spell it out whenever the birthday is coming we used to ask them what is your goal in your life so so many children they used to tell so many things but very good children less good smart enough children which we consider they used to very specifically they told they used to tell i want to become this it should be very specific my dear children to excel in the examinations also to excel in your personal life also you should have a perfect specific goal for you and that specific goal how the goal should be we will discuss later but you are planning your goal should be specific but so for example suppose in a you are you are a girl standard student you are going to appear the cbse examination i i see examination whatever maybe the board is all boards are equal all boards are having the examinations examinations is necessary evil in our system once you enter the school you have to come out in the flying colors after 12 after that college and that like the goal goes so my dear children in that also for examination also you should have a specific goal for yourself and keep it in writing and keep it to yourself and uh, in the in the sense what i should score in english what it is in this subject what is x what is y what is z these are the subjects how much i got to score how i got to plan it out these are the things you would plan it out well in advance before you want to become a successful person or successful students or you want to succeed in the examination also you are planning should be very specific and you have to fix a goal for yourself there should not be no deviations very often i am telling my personal experience i am sharing my personal experience i used to give many students 11th standard admissions by knowing the 10th standard marks we used to advise the parents and children you can go for the commerce sections but they used to tell sir we want science i want to become an engineer i want to become a doctor whatever like this i used to advise so many children even after that on their pressure of course on their wish on seeing them we used to give signs within a month again they will come back to us sir what you told us right so my aptitude is this so i will take uh, come to commerce so when knowing the aptitude knowing the drawbacks knowing this we have to fix a goal for ourselves the goal should be very specific and uh, second thing is to excel in your life time management you planned our course you are planning over your goal also over you will like with started as a student as a citation you started it is now the time management the each and every time whenever you are doing a particular one you have to plan your timings i have to finish this work in this particular time i have to in the examination if you are coming 
in this week, I have to cover this much. So time management is one of the very, very important factor in excelling in their life. I want to finish this much, this work, I got to finish it. Finish it up. You will be a successful person. Time management is very, very important. If you are a student, attend your class regularly. The third point I would like to quote here is, attend your class regularly. Why I am emphasizing this, attend your class regularly. My dear children, this is all the experience. We are all teachers. We are also came as a student only. We are a, student, a teacher also now. I am the principal, I am principal, whatever we do. Now that is very, very important. Attending the class is very important. If you are attending the class, the, what you learn in the particular class, you may not understand sometime. But the experience is, through the children, we understand that when the children are writing the examinations, the question which they have not studied and the question answer they remember through the lecture. What the children were, the teachers were ta uh, taught in the classrooms. Sir, in the examination hall, we remember that it is. So, it is attending the class or whatever may be the work is, attendance is very, very important in your specific work. In this case, in a particular class also as a student, uh, because I have taken as a student, that's what I am mentioning that. As a student, you have to attend the class regularly. Each and every subject. Don't think that it is a only physical education. Don't think that it is an art class only. Or don't think that it is only the um, uh, vocational courses only. It is not like that it is. Each and every subject, each and every class is very, very important. Attend that also. So, even if you are attending the class, the things what you hear, hear through your ears will come to your help in the examination hall. You can nicely answer that also. Another th thing is, as a student, I am going a little fast, I know that. And um, we have to complete our homeworks and the other thing also. What does the teachers ask you to? Other thing I mean, the teachers might have given, uh, may be giving you an assignments and activities. If these are the things, if it is a given, as a student, try to do that and do the homework. Try to do the homework yourself. That's very, very important. I would like to emphasize on this. Try to do it yourself. Whatever may be the question is, even if I not understood how you have to do that, think it out. I, as a mathematics student, I am telling, so many mathematical concepts, so many solutions for the mathematical problem, I used to get when I was taking a bath, when I was in some other place. I never used to ask, I never used to copy from others. That copying from others, at the maximum, you can take help from the children, other children. How to do that? Don't take the other's notebook and copy it. That is a very, very bad habit that you got to stop it and that will spoil your successful world. And hence, students, I'm telling that you have to try to do it yourself. Assimilate the problem within you. Keep that in mind. When a time comes, it will immediately do click. You will remember that. As a review of children, I would like to revise what we studied before I am going to the other important vital points. First thing, what we discussed to be a successful person, a good planning. Or you can call it as a, a goal, a specific goal. What is goal? We will see later. Then, the second point we discuss about time management. The third point we discuss, you have to attend in the class and attend the class also. Attend and attentive. Both the things are very important.
Some children in my experience, of course, they used to attend the class, but their mind was somewhere else. In the first period, if I am going and taking mathematics, or whatever maybe, my teachers used to tell me, children, child was there in the class, but the child's mind is at home. The first period, they are remembering what mummy gave the breakfast in the morning in the home. That is not the effective attending the classroom. So you should be attentive to the classes also. So the fourth point we we'll discuss is complete the homework also. Now let us come to the fifth one. Very, very important. Don't be a passive listener in the classroom. I always encourage the children ask question. By asking, we are talking about a successful student, not an ordinary student. Successful students always used to ask questions. Don't keep the doubts in the mind. That will sometimes burst your mind also. Yes. As and when yes, some doubt is coming, no teachers will say no for this asking doubts. Even in the intermediate stage, you can stop it. Even in my experience, I always used to encourage the children, stop me when I was teaching and ask questions. We, I used to always invite questions from the children. So my dear children, no teachers will just say no for the asking questions. So ask questions whenever they really, your um, uh, mind is telling how it is. Don't keep this question how in your mind. And even after once the question comes in your mind, if you are sitting in the classroom, the other thing what the teachers are teaching, you will not listen also. It will go like that. So as and when you are having doubt, you ask questions. The, another point, ask questions in the classrooms and after the classroom, you can go to the staff room to the um, uh, uh, subject teachers and you can ask various questions. What are the doubts you have? By my idea is, it is better to release the tension then and there itself by asking the questions. We are talking about a successful students, not for ordinary students. Sixth one, short notes. Short notes, I can divide that into two parts also. One is during the classroom and at, at the time when you are revising that also. During the class, when the, what the teachers are teaching, you can take a short note. And when, after that, when you are preparing at home, you prepare a short note for each and every answers. The page, you may be, the solution of the particular problem may go to a page or two page or three page. What are this main important concept which you are applying in the particular one? That counts a lot. So make a note of it. That small, small, small note for each and every answers for each and every question will help you at the time of preparing for the examinations. Instead of reading the four pages, five pages of a book, just read the glance. See, in the standard books, if you see that, at the glance, they used to give some. In the 10 page or 20 page of uh, subject, topics, they used to give it in the natural, very natural form. So like a very short note you can make. What are the formulas used? What are the very important tactic, tactful the points which the problem is taking a turn. When you are doing that itself, you will understand that. What are the difficulties coming in the problem? Make a note of it. These are the problem coming in this particular problem. Make a very, 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 very short note. That will help you to study also, for reference also, for further, when you are revision, revision also, it will helpful very much. To be a successful student, the seven point as per me, Many may be having their own points, various points, even 10 points, 5 points, 12 points, 20 points they may have. We can elaborate. That depends on the individuals. Have faith.
in you. My dear children, I would like to quote something from a Bible about this faith. You should have a faith in you. The biblical statement, it says like this, faith is a substance which we hope for, the evidence of which is not known. I don't know. I want to become a this. But there is no evidence for that at all. So you should have a faith in you. Once you fix a goal, very first point, that's what I have taken. You fix a goal for you. Clear cut planning. And there should not be no variations. In goal setting, the very first point, the goal should be smart. I am just quoting it, then we will take it in the separate headings. Goal is as a smart. C stands for specific, M stands for measurable, A stands for achievable and realistic and time, time bound. And this is a smart, the goal should be smart. But I used to tell if the goal should be smarter. Smart goal is not enough. To be a such smart goal is enough for an ordinary student. But if you want to be a smarter student, your goal should be smarter. What is this E stands for? Evaluating. And this is rearrange, re, re plan. What is this? That too we will uh, discuss later. I'll come to this one. Have faith in you. So that deeper faith you should have. Yes, my goal is this. I'm 100% sure that I can achieve this. My goal is specific. There is no deviation in that. I want to become a collector. Yes, I will become a collector. That type of faith you should have. And once you have the faith, various children school, in school there are various types of children are coming. In the society there are various types of people to discourage you. What are you? You, you cannot become a character or you cannot become a that man or you cannot become a man. This one, no. If you want to become a president of some particular country, you will become. Have the strong faith in that. No, don't fear. Never fear. No fear at all. By that fear will leave leads to deviating your goal. Don't allow any fear to deviate your goals. And once you're having all this, the another next point is you have to relax yourself. 24 hours in time management, time management itself is a, another um, uh, very big topic which we will be covering before your examinations coming closer. And that time management you have to write. I used to always tell them, my children, take a paper, write yourself. In a day there are 24 hours, write yourself. This 24 hours how you are spending. I am not telling you don't watch TV. I am not telling you don't go for the game. You can. But I want a specific. Write it out. This many hours I am sleeping. This many hours I am watching TV. This many hours I am taking breakfast. This many hours I am taking this. How much minute you are going that in time management, that much minute you will be a successful person. If you are sticking to that your time management, definitely you will be a successful person. Try, try in your life, try in your life, you will, you can, initially it may be difficult for you to adjust your timings, but in due course of time, the time which you fix that you can do it in that particular time. So time management is very very important which we will try to take it at when your examinations are coming. So next, next one is games. Next point is 
This is games and exercise to release your tensions, to release your nerves, to release your mind. You should have a fixed game also. Games and relax and exercise. Do exercise. Even you can do yoga. I used to, sometimes I used to, when I feel that it is the students are very tensely they are sitting it. I used to tell them, I, in my experience only I am sharing that with you. If you practice that, you will become a successful person. We used to discuss the same thing when the, when, when the uh, parents are coming to me and asking, Sir, this is my child is doing this much, but my child is not coming out with the flying colors, the thing what we, we want. So the thing is, you have to relax yourself. So in the classroom, sometimes if I feel that the students are sitting like this, I used to ask the children to close all the books and notebooks. Sit in your place, close your eyes and do nothing, don't think anything, keep quiet for some time. Two minutes, three minutes. Three minutes is very difficult for you to sit, but practice it. Three minutes without thinking anything. Don't think of your mother, don't think of your father, don't think of your friends. Just to, uh, leave your brain like this, zero. Don't think anything. Relax. Keep um, uh, no exercise for your brain. Just to relax like this, just to practice this for three minutes and you will get more energy to go forward. So that give you, getting more energy to go forward will fetch you to become a successful person. At the last, I say already this one, your goal and your aim, your planning should be a smarter one. So my dear children, this games, when the two teams are playing, India team, India and Australia, for example, so they are before the game, they are planning. So the planning is very, very important to become a successful person. The second thing is during, during your school hours, during your working hours, after school, you may be going and join somewhere else. There also you practice the same thing according to your goal. So that also should be very clear. During, during the period also very much important. The last one is after. My dear children, this is the more, 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 more effective, more, more, more important I can say to come up with your life. What is that? That is review your actions. Review your things. What you have done so far. What you have done in the examinations. What you have done in the your studies. What you have done in your job. Review yourself. If you have not fixed your goal properly and you are not if, uh, later you can, no problem. Just to review. Review your things and try to change it. Replan it. And that's what I put it smarter. After evaluation, after evaluate and you can review, review the things. Okay, my goal is this. I am not able to attain this goal. I am not able to achieve this. Change that. No harm in that. Changing your goal in the intermediate stage. Once you understand that it is not achievable, it is not able to reliable, um, reachable. If you feel like that, change it. That's a, instead of not getting something, if you change your goal, that will be good for you. So my dear children, this is the thing I would like to advise you. As 10 points I have taken, like that there are plenty of Things we can add up because of the time factors I restrict in my this one with the 10 points only. So plan it out, time management, atten attendance in the classroom and attentive in the classroom. Complete the homework, ask questions in the classrooms, short notes, short notes for the examination point of view or for the particular lessons also. Have faith in you, no fear, games and your goal and your planning should be smarter and now. My dear children, if you follow this, 
definitely you will be a successful student you will not be an ordinary student you will be a successful student i wish each and every one those are listening if you apply that definitely you will be a successful person in future also i wish and i pray god that you will be a successful person in the future may god bless you and once again i would like to remind you please subscribe and view this one after view you please subscribe the channel so that other cha other um, uh, whenever we are releasing other things it will come to you also thank you very much